This new site that people can use to find out whether or not their partner's cheating? Absolutely. And here's the sad truth, George. We live in a world where we're just one swipe away from a secret lover, right? So it leaves a lot of us wondering if your lover is stepping out. If you think breaking into their phone is beneath you, and one could argue it should be, then this app will help scour Tinder information that's publicly available and help you trust but verify. Jenny Day is still reeling from the day she says she found out her boyfriend was cheating on her. I questioned the whole relationship and it was very heartbreaking. The cheating, she says, can be traced back not to a specific person, but to a dating app, Tinder. I found so many messages between him and other girls. And even though there wasn't any sexual intercourse involved, I do feel like that is a sign of cheating just because you're looking for something better. In Jenny's case, she says she learned of her boyfriend's wandering eyes and tinder fingers from a girlfriend who spotted his profile. But now, there's a newer, faster way. Swipe Buster, a website launched just this week. For $5, users can learn about a significant other's tinder habits. All you need is someone's first name, age, and general location, and what will come up is when the person last logged on to Tinder, who they're interested in meeting, and a collection of photographs that they have used on the app. Vanity Fair writer Emily Jane Fox was among the first to try out Swipe Buster. She and her colleagues found the site to be 99% accurate. We searched a number of people who we knew were active Tinder users in a variety of cities, with the exception of about one very common name in New York City, every single person you're looking for turned up. According to some reports, a large number of Tinder users are already in relationships. But Tinder disputes this, saying just 2% of its users are married. As for its response to Swipe Buster, Tinder says the new website is simply tapping into and consolidating public information that Tinder's own website makes clear is already available to fellow Tinder users, adding no private user information is being made public. Jenny says she thinks Swipe Buster is a good idea. She's taking a break from love right now. And when she does date again, she says she's going to make sure any new boyfriends put their swiping days behind them. If they still have Tinder on their phone, then you're still looking. Now, interestingly enough, the founder of Swipe Buster wants to remain anonymous. We asked him questions through Vanity Fair. He says the response to Swipe Busters is explosive and that people are thanking him left and right. But he says the main goal wasn't to bust cheaters, but to alert the public that Tinder information and the Internet in general may not be as private as you think. Well, that was George. just the, bu the, 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 bu the bus was a bonus. Okay. Exactly. So, thank you, Juju. You know, we asked GMA followers on Twitter, would you consider cheating if your partner went on tw Tinder? And you said yes by a very large margin. And joining us now is Andrea Sirtash, the author of Cheat on Your Husband with Your Husband. I love the title <laughs> Thank of, you. of that book. And you just saw that most of our viewers would say, think it's cheating, even if you just go to the site, never follow through. I agree with them. It's definitely crossing a line. You're on a dating site. It's not a job site. So it begs the question, what is this person doing there? He or she has to upload a photo, fill out a profile, there's something going on. So you have a problem before you even go to Swipe Buster, if you're even thinking about it. Absolutely. If you have to pay for an app to check if your partner is cheating, you have a bigger issue at hand. There's, there's a trust issue. So you think, how do you confront that then? What, what, what is the best way to go about it before you buy an app like this or go on a site like this? Well, before you buy the app, I think you need to check in with yourself and ask yourself, why do I think this? Why do I have this suspicion? Usually with each cheating, there are a few clues. So if you're walking in and your partner's constantly closing every tab on the computer and being very Jack, secretive right? yeah, <laughs> about digital behavior, you may want to pay attention to that. That would make a lot of sense. And, and, and do you think, though, that the existence of a site like this may make people think? twice? I do. I mean, sometimes people cheating may think they're invincible, and this site reminds them maybe to think before they post on a dating site. <laughs> okay, Andrew Sirtash, <laughs> thanks very much.